You know what that was called at the end? What was that it was called, called at the end? A dirty champ. Oh, dirty <laughs> champ. <laughs> well, no, I kid you not, dirty champ. Welcome. Here we are in self isolation in the uh, <laughs> video room at Anderton's. <laughs> We've split screened this video. Pete's recorded his bit first. At home, actually. I've, yeah, I've recorded my bit second and we've spliced it together. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, and let's see if you can tell uh, that we're not actually really in the room at the same time together. <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> I hope you guys and girls are enjoying self-isolation too uh, and that you're being responsible and getting in lots of guitar practice. Yeah. Right. But in the midst this of this exciting. fun and games, yeah. Yeah, Spender uh, have got some new toys uh, for you guys in the... Um, in these two new GTX guitar amplifiers. Did we see these in NAMM, didn't we? I saw, well, we saw them in NAMM and I went, ooh, what is that? And because they've got a new shiny look to them. Yes. And I didn't, couldn't work out from afar what it was because it looked afar. very much Wasn't, afar. He, uh, afar. wasn't afar. he the baddie in afar. Aladdin? <laughs> or was that Jafar? I'm not sure. <laughs> Jafar, no, what's the other one? It's the one from uh, the Shrek, isn't it? Far, is he called? Farquhar. 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 Anyway, Farquhar. <laughs> you are correct, Mr. Pete. I think we did see these at yeah. NAMM. <laughs> So, oh, yeah, who's this Lord Farquhar? There you go, yeah. Little <laughs> costume. So, uh, Fender's modeling range of amplifiers has been called the Mustang range for, for some years. Super, super popular. Um, and <laughs> GTX <clears throat> replaces the old Mustang GT100 and 200. Um, so, strictly speaking, kind of like the 50 kind of replaces. Well, no, does it really? So strictly come a, dancing. Strictly there was a 100 and there was a 200. Now there's a 50 and a 100. I was speaking to the guys at Fender and they basically said that the 200 never really took off. I think the general consensus was it's like, does anybody really need an amp that big? So they decided that the new range would be based on a, a 50 and a 100. Yeah. Um, Which is very much in line with what's happening out in the world of modeling amps world. right now. 50, 100, isn't it? And then it's 100, 212, maybe. Because I and think then the idea with these now is you've got stereo uh, DI modeled outputs, amazing. emulated outputs on the back. Mm -hmm. So if 100 isn't enough volume for you, you just take your DI into the PA. How much more could you Hey. Want? So uh, to go over <laughs> the, the, the basics, what's new? Um, Pussycat. So the main, main uh, difference is the processor is brand new in these amps. Much more powerful processor. Same as Sister. all technology. Is that what I said? A processor. <laughs> A processor. Um, <laughs> as with all technology, uh, software gets more demanding and processors have to be improved to keep up. So yeah. cutting edge new processor power on this. I don't know if it's a shark, DSP. but it's a, it's a whatever it is. <laughs> Uh, the cabinet's been, it's a wooden cabinet, it's been redesigned um, to look much more like something like a Hot Rod Deluxe. I mean, that's why I went, what is that? Is that like a mini Hot Rod Deluxe yeah. or something? Because Which I thought would have been a great idea. A small, which is basically a Blue Studio, but... Kind of. Thick, but so, higher wattage anyway, whatever. Nicer cabinets. You can see the 100 watt cabinet is slightly larger than the 50 watt cabinet. Um, and uh, a continuation of the uh, partnership that Fender have had with Celestian. So again, these are Celestian designed, custom designed specifically for these amplifiers. Uh -huh. um, it's a, basically it's the same sort of series of speaker in each, but the, the one in the 100 has got a higher power rating than super the one in the light. 50. Yeah. They're super light and they're super high efficiency as well. So you might even not notice the fact that the, you know, the 50 may not even be any quieter than the old 100 just because the speaker's more efficient. Is that, is that got anything to do with the development in the new uh, range of the Tone Master series they did? It 100% does. And uh, let me sure just take my jingly jangly annoying bracelet I'm off. I'm sure. <laughs> You're completely right. Pete's right. Last year, uh, Fender released Tone Master. Yeah, amazing. It was a, a digital uh, version digital. of uh, a Fender Twin and a Fender Deluxe. Unbelievably popular. Uh, l literally crazy, crazy popular. Um, Printed, wasn't it? Weighs nothing. No, it's a Twin and a Deluxe. Oh, that's it? right. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. <laughs> um, so it's not the same processor, not necessarily running the same software in here, but it was the same design team. So the clever people that did Tone Master have applied their boffin style knowledge to doing GTX. What's his name? Rick, right? Mm -hmm. Rick that was in here to do some videos with yes. us. Rick Allen. Yes, I think what it's Rick Allen. He's it? a super cool dude. Rick, yeah. He's got lovely hair. Well, he's he's just... got like hair that every sort of 40 year old plus man no, would he be had proud a, to he have. No, he had a remember? We saw him at NAMM. He was standing, I'm sure he had the haircut. He, oh, he has, yeah. He he's had gone... a haircut. 
So let's keep going about what's new. We will get into the app. So as is the way with many of these modern modeling amplifiers, although you can do pretty much everything from just the panel, um, it's graphically much, much more interesting and much more intuitive to use an app on a phone yeah. or an iPad. And where is the old uh, tone app for GT? Um, was perfectly usable and functional. It didn't contain all of those nice graphics of what amps and pedals look like. Whereas now, oh. um, you basically, you know, you see real pictures. Real pictures? Well, you know, <laughs> as opposed oh, look, to that, any other kind of picture. Is that what? A real what? Yeah. Yes, you see actual pictures of the amps and pedals that you're putting together and building your rigs, and then you just literally twiddle the knobs uh, just like you would if you had the real thing. It's really cool. I mean, just, you can see. Do you know what they call it? Twi knob twiddling. No, they call, they've, they've called the sort of graphical representation of this app, they've called it skeuomorphic. Skeuomorphic? Well, it's better than Blackstar's Insider, I must admit, because that, <laughs> that's the one I never could never manage to, you know, once um, you, what once else? you we get should say, We should say these are... Um, skeuomorphic, I love Skeuomorphic. It. What a word. They're Class D power sections, um, They and all of the the sound and the circuit, if you like, is coming from a modelled... So you, the, the, the preamps, the effects, the power amp uh, emulation is all digitally modelled, and then the actual sort of volume reproduction, if you like, is from a Class D power section. Mm -hmm. It's quite a typical approach to building a modelling amplifier uh, these days. I think the only one that really bucks that trend is um, Katana, which is uh, a slightly different approach with an AB-style power section. Yeah, they got a real... Um, front end a little bit proper. more analog circuitry in yeah. there which you know it's good for some things bad for others i get it you know there's yeah. a choice for you all um but maybe you say katana maybe we should uh, we are do definitely going to do it's... an updated i don't think we, i think the last shootout of modeling amps we did was like 2018 yeah so mirror definitely... did one of the best modeling amps which we need to redo so but we, we also redo need, that. we did the katana 50 versus the champ x oh yeah XL the 50. champion 50 xl yeah but that was the old katana so we need to do And it was guitar. the old XL. No, they still do the uh, well. They do. Here we go. Uh, apologies for looking on the floor to just make sure I've covered everything in my notes, but I think I have. Um, so let's just get into the sounds and what you can do. Yes. Um, right, Mr. Pete. Oh, there's new foot switch. We'll come to lots of other things. Yeah. So we're going to really use Pete's. Cool. We're going to use Pete's amp predominantly. Yeah. Uh, you should know that the software. Um, is identical on the two amps. So identical there's nothing muggle. that you can do on the 100 that you can't do on the 50. It is simply with the um, slightly bigger cabinet um, through the speaker itself, I suspect you'll get a bit more bass end. And everything on the top panel, as you see a little GoPro up here, it's got the same. Are we wide angled same. enough on that GoPro to get everything? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And that get is, me as well over here. fish eye tastic. <laughs> yeah. So um, you've got on the top here, you've got input gain, Volume, treble, middle bass, reverb, and a master. Then you got a display here, which is the same as the old one, I guess, mm -hmm. and the old Mustangs, is it? Mm -hmm. And then you got a few switchy Roonies here, an overall edit knob, fix, save, menu, tap tempo, aux, and headphone. Yeah, we should say all the amps are Bluetooth, yeah. so you can run your music through them if you want to. That's how the app works. They're Wi-Fi. Wi That's one of Fender's, uh, I'm not sure if it's a really big, deal feature really but wi wi-fi um for just doing updates and stuff like that is super super easy lee um tell my wi-fi i love her <laughs> sorry hey um all the inputs and outputs on the back are the same as well so come on pete let's go yeah. back to uh preset number one and or you want me to do it from the phone do you yeah it's recording the screens you can see how easy it is to to go through that now it's Oh, okay, right. It, so what I'm looking at now, but why aren't you on preset? Oh, you are on preset number one. Yeah, I do preset number one up here. So, so preset it'll number follow one that and follow that. Is the twin reverb clean? Mm -hmm. uh, you can see on the screen here the signal path starts with the little arrow on the left hand side of that red pedal, mm -hmm. goes through this pre effects thing into the amplifier, and then through another pedal in post effects. And of course, we can add tons more effects. To and this if you click if on the, want to. if you click on the pedal. So I've clicked on the pedal. Look. It is a simple compressor, and now I'm clicking on the actual switch, and you can see the red light going on and off. Interestingly, of course, on the foot switch, you can also switch this stuff on and off from the foot switch, which is cool. Yeah. If I swipe left, you can see I'm on the 65 <laughs> twin reverb. You swipe right. But if I swipe right, it means I don't like it. Yeah. Um, 
<laughs> and then is the that final... how it works? I don't know how it works. <laughs> and then the final one is the spring reverb pedal. So this is actually a really simple, <laughs> um, a really simple chain here. But let's have a little listen. So first, I'm just going to tune, and I can do that by holding down this switch up here, and oh. then yeah, and then on the board. I've got a tuner pedal yep. oh, I see. on this little floorboard, which comes with the 100, comes with the 100. We should say, yes, the 100 the includes this big foot switch, the 50 does not. Uh, the foot switch is an optional extra, I'm going to come back to that. Uh, sorry, it, it can be purchased as an optional extra if you do buy the 50 and then at a later date want the foot switch. But yeah, if you know you want the foot switch from day one, the 100 comes with it. And there you go, see? Are you in tune? That is magic. Um, okay, so here's some sound of this twin reverb clean chain thing. And this is a Ventura. Yes, we picked modified. a couple of more affordable guitars today so as not to be accused of playing 5,000 pound guitars <laughs> into 300 and 400 pound amps. But anyway. Is that how much they are? They are. You want to just, shall, I just go to the, shall I just go to the next? Um... Yeah, I mean, as you, while we're on the foot switch on here, I can just change to the next foot switch. You can see now, actually. Sorry, I, I if, did that. No, but you can do that there. So you can see the foot switch actually, as Lee's scrolling through presets, the foot switch is doing the same. <laughs> this is wicked. And, and it's doing it up here as well on the GoPro cam. And as you can see, I'm wearing my Fender uniform today. You are. Um, hipster shirt. Hipster shirt. Uh, Dr. Martin's boot made in England, which then you buy them in England and they send them from the yeah. from Holland. Do you know Dr. Good. Martin's used to sponsor West Ham? That's probably still my favourite away, uh, my favourite. Did they? Yeah. I'm going to take this yeah. off then. <laughs> <laughs> good thing I don't know anything about football. It's only because Dan and uh, Matt comes in and they wear exactly this outfit. Oh, it's uh, every it's Fender uniform. This, this is Fender standard uni turned up jeans, DMs, and a and a he lumberjack. Shirt. Here's the problem. I'm wearing an Anderson's t-shirt. I'm not wearing a Fender t-shirt, Fender. What are you saying? That I need to give some Anderson's t-shirts to Fender or they need to give them to us? <laughs> Let's switch. <laughs> hey, right. Anyway. Okay, so the classic rock one, you can see, obviously, you know, there's all sorts of copyright and trademark issues about calling amps, you know, Marshalls and Oranges and stuff like that. But it's pretty obvious That's from the app, yeah. you know, what things are supposed to be visually. Uh, so this one here is a, called 80, a classic rock. It's got an 80s British amplifier that's bound to be like a JCM 800 kind of thing. And it's got a little bit of Monica. reverb after that. <laughs> That's a good sound. I, I like that. I think it's that. a good sound. I think it's um, good. There's a little bit of a top, toppy thing, you know. These are all presets, by the way, so you can go in and noodle. We, in I, the I tweet a couple of mine, and we'll tweak a little bit in a minute because I, I, Pete's right. These at the moment we're just doing the straight out the box presets. Yeah. So uh, this next one, Country Twang, it's the same basic setup as the first one, I think. So, but with just different settings on the amp. But. <laughs> This is so cool, man. Oh, so if we go back, if we look at the phone here, hopefully this is still recording, you can see these are the knobs that I've got. I've got gain, volume, treble, middle, and bass. And I can adjust them. So let's say I want to turn the bass end up and down. I just, it's a bit weird. You, you're sort of, hopefully you're seeing my, fin you, in one camera, you're seeing my finger go up and down and on, on the actual iPad, you're, on the phone, sorry, you're seeing the, the bass control go up and down. But I would absolutely, for me, I would just lean over and adjust the amp on, on the amp. But or you would get somebody to do it for you, of course. Yes. Can you turn the bass end up on down on there and we'll see if the, the, the control on the phone goes up and down? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Go. It doesn't, it doesn't do it on the phone. It's not reactive like that. Does it so, not? No, it's, it obviously, it's do. obviously it's doing it. But I just wondered whether or not it would actually show the, the, go, the knob go, on go, the phone You touch it down. now and then see what happens. Oosh. Oh, sorry. Uh, do the bass oh, thing. Uh, 
So the base goes up and down. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. It yeah, does it one way, just not the other. Not I've got choices of what cabinet emulation is on here at the okay. moment. It's got Electra Voice speakers in the cabinet. Oh my Ooh. goodness me, there's like a million. Is there? Uh, yeah. Let's try. This is Tweed Sugar. So this is this hey, is sugar. another. This is like an old sort of uh, Tweed. Uh, what is it like a 57? Yeah, 57 twin. So this will be a little bit darker with a little bit more uh, hair on it. But it's, I'm guessing it's like a brown sugar kind of sound, you know. I like yeah, it. Yeah, that's good. There's nothing nice wrong with dry. that. Nothing wrong with that. I, do you know what I do like about these presets as well is that the first few are very, very simple. You're not immediately going into something with 50,000 delays and reverbs and choruses and stuff. It's, it's like, here's just what the amp should yeah. sound like. And this is really important. And I think we try to hammer this through every time for, to, for any manufacturers that when people plug in and they've tried five first presets, especially if it's on a board or mm -hmm. anything like that, they just need to make sure that the first preset, number one to five, let's say mm. one to five, one to 10, just have to be mm. Spot on. See, I, because if people pluck in, they go. Ugh, I've, I've, next, got a, uh, I've got a, a theory on, move on to presets generally, which is like if your job is to make a preset great, and you get your favourite guitar, and you play in your style, and you're in a certain room at a certain volume that you've been told. Maybe you're in an office, and you've got to try and do it. The chance that you'll get a sound that you really yeah. like. The, the very first customer that plugs it in is going to pick up a different guitar, be in a different room, and have a different playing style. So to then go, oh, I don't like it. It's a bit like, well, give it, hang on, just I know, it, tweak I, it, get your sound. I you see know, what you like, mean there, but mm. how bad can it be to make a nice, clean tone? No, I agree. But when I you put your, done. when you do that, you go. Yeah, yeah, it's exactly. like the olden days of <laughs> things like, like you know Line Six Spider, where the first sound would just be like, "Oh man, I don't even want to play anymore." Exactly, I just but that's like what it. I mean. That's what I mean. Yeah. If you just have a nice clean sound yeah. when you do a G chord on any guitar, yeah, uh, with any pick, with any yeah. fingers, two well, fingers. <laughs> talking whatever. of presets that we won't like, let's try this one. <laughs> this one's called Uber Metal. It's not too bad, actually. It's, it's, it's not really. I've, uh, I, I've, I've changed the preset. <laughs> I, I think at this point, Pete and I are both in agreement that the best sounds in GTX are the Fender ones. Like, you know, the Fender Twin, the, 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 yeah. the Deluxe, the Princeton, the... the, the and the overdriven ones are the are the uh, dare I say Marshall the lower tones. gain the Marshall lower gain Marshall tones. The th the problem with these is that I think we both agree on this as well mm. uh, that the it gets quite fizzy when there's too much high gain in them. Yeah. So if you that's plug all in, modeling amps and that's though, all right? modeling amps, amps uh, yeah, abs I absolutely think yeah. so. So you just dial the gain down a little bit. Too little much bit gain. Back. Too much gain, people. Um, anyway, let's try this one. This is called Ambient Wash. In fairness, this is now one of the first ones that has got a lot of those kind of uh, post, of, you know. See, this is so cool. So look, again. Tell you what, sorry to interrupt. That must come out in stereo if you are listening. Oh, yeah. If we just do one chord again, just out the DI at the back. I don't know. It's got, it says it's a mono delay, so it might, okay, it maybe might it not be pinging. Pinging, way. ponging. It's so cool, man. Look, I mean, I'll pop this down here for a minute. So... Mm. You've got this idea of all the pedals. So this has a Fender Is delay, a Fender mono delay on it. Yes, because plus, now they've got their own... Plus a TC2290 emulated delay. This oh, little white oh. thing here, I'm guessing, is like doing all the quarter notes and the eight. Oh, it's very Pink Floyd. Whatever you play. This is copyright, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. And then it's got a Fender <laughs> reverb at the, at the very end. But it's very, very cool. This is my copyrighted version of... <laughs> um, okay, let's do... We're not going to go through all these. We're just going to do the first 10 or so. so. I 
I don't think that was too much gain on this one, no, to be I, honest. It wasn't, but I'm just turning it down as well. So, so cow kind of, uh, this yeah. is like a, you know. Yeah, a bit more. I mean, that's... I don't mind that. That's pretty that's good, pretty isn't cool. it? That's pretty cool. Okay, a surfy one now, which is an old, what, 50, oh, 59 basement on here for a surfy sound. You know what you're gonna like here? They've put the reverb in the front! <laughs> because it gives it this. Yeah, See, it's much breaks more... It, it breaks off the, it punches into the amp, into the front end of the amp, and it gives you that. <laughs> And uh, Blues Junior, the one of the most popular amplifiers that Fender make. It sounds great. I uh, one I'm thing, one thing I would like to say, there's a little bit too much reverb on. It feels like it's a little bit overcompensated. They've gone, oh, maybe put a little bit more yeah. on, just because it's going to make everything sound better. Which well, I know somebody who says that a lot. That you know, reverb uh, makes everything. A, I, I got a great story from Fender um, just before doing this video, which was that after the amp, when the amp was in final, final testing, and that's when there's really nothing else to change about the... Uh, what the amp's going to do. It's just about fine tweaking the, the, the processing and the, and the presets and everything like that. Apparently, on this document of all the things they wanted to do, there were certain things written in there in purple. I've had this from <laughs> Fender, apparently, because they knew that there were certain things that they'd have to get right for Pete to like it, and they highlighted those in purple. <laughs> it's so insane. But I'm kind of wondering, I don't get that. was no, there get... maybe another one at the bottom that just said, and also make sure there's a bit more extra reverb on there just yeah. for me. <laughs> Yeah, for me. <laughs> Just for me. <laughs> so thank you, yeah. Fender. Well done. That's um I mean that is very dedication, isn't it? Yeah, I don't um, even know why I've got a say in that sort of thing. But you know, I, I yeah, but I get it, I get it, you know. You I've, they've probably gone back and watched some of the videos we've done before and gone they'd say, and you know what it'll like be? This, it'll be this. things like not too much noise gate. We don't like too no, much noise gate yeah, because yeah, then yeah. you then it takes yeah. away all the dynamics of sound. Yeah. And they've probably gone you know, nice clean sounds, not too over the top. Yeah. yeah anyway, and, and this yeah. one, what is Silver this one? Jubilee, I can hear it. Marshall <laughs> Silver. <laughs> Do you know what? Here's a good example, right? So the preset has the gain on 10, like this. Now, if I, if I drop the gain to five, for example, it's, it's just as saturated, but it's not got the fizz. You know, yeah. it's like, yeah, it, exactly. doesn't, it just feels, I just think there's a, you know, just gain on 10 is not yeah. always best. Especially not Unless you're Eddie Van Halen. And yeah, then but everything no, on 10 but then is it's best. That, then it's everything is on ten, and that's a different and thing. And there probably wasn't a lot of gain in the amps he was using anyway, but whatever. Hey. <gasps> Right. Next. 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 Well, now that's 10. Do you know what? I think is that 10? we could go on and on and on get, and on get, and on. Get that. There was one that's called Purple Rain. Let's just get that. Okay, quickly. let's find... You can, uh, if you click on the top uh, corner, right. left-hand corner, the drop-down menu, you get all the... Oh, yeah. Thing. So it's really that. clever and really simple. Even uh, Lee can figure it Master out. of Mullets is <laughs> the best <laughs> preset name on here. We've um, tried to preset name before. Finding preset names for anything is a nightmare. Cause so according to this, I mean, I don't know if this is what Prince would have used, but according to this, Purple Rain is a compressor, yeah. a chorus, uh. into a 65 twin reverb with a delay and a reverb on the end of it. According to that, it's Purple Rain. Let's well, see. Well, let's play this chord. <laughs> It's actually this chord. Well, what was See, that on originally then? 
Any idea? Was it a jazz chorus or something, or like a big old Fender? I'm or not a... sure what it was originally, because that was all know. played live. They yeah. did that. The whole recording is one. Apparently, it's, it's recorded live where he's gone over lyrics again and again and just sung loads of things. And the end of it, they cut it all together and they managed to. In the end, cool. he came up with. But there's definitely maybe a little bit more reverb on that. Which was it, Wendy or Lisa? That was a guitar player. I should know this, shouldn't I? Yeah. Yeah. I was going to ask her. In fact, yeah. you know what we can do, yeah. Wendy? Tell us what amp you were using. Uh, right. Left. Now. Once you get up to preset number 48, don't know why that's significant. 48. So one of the things that Fender have done in the presets, just to kind of have some fun, is there's a lot of the presets are a play on a song title. So you might go, oh, that sounds like such a, and therefore that will be the, what they think that that Apart from Purple Rain, because they call that Purple Rain. Oh, yeah, I don't know why they, yeah, <laughs> bizarre. But you know, as, as you can see, Master of Mullets, uh, what else is there in here? You've got 80s hysteria. Um, anyway, when you get to 48, what I really like, is it starts to just go through all the classic old Fender amplifiers. And okay. I still think that's where this amp is strongest. And I also want to see now with Pete's, Pete's got a little compact board on here. Yeah. So half of me is like this next bit of the demo is really just going to be, we'll find a, a Fender amplifier. Could be a twin, could be a, a, you know, deluxe, whatever. And we'll just see how it sounds. What if it's just a normal amp that you would use normal pedals with? Yeah. I'm not I sure. I'm well, not sure why you do that because you've got a million other effects built in. But well, hey, because people like to buy pedals and there's different do. sounds in there. So you know, Fender the 65 Twin Reverb, the classic big loud Fender amplifier. So tiny bit of normal oh, overdrive pedal. Okay, so, so this, is, a... this is now not an overdrive built into the app, of which there are a million. This, this is, is a... a normal overdrive so pedal. Dane. Sounds great. Without. With. There's no sense it doesn't like it, is there? No. Next it's loud. Amp Sorry. is a Princeton. So this is, if you're not familiar with Fender amps, the Princeton would have been a much smaller one, like a 10 watt um, little studio amplifier. <laughs> Cranked. I love it. For the date. Uh, 65 Deluxe. So I think this is the 22 watt kind of, this would have been the, the, the mid-sized amp. Again, probably more of a studio small club amp, but probably my studio favorite of all Fender amplifiers. What studio? What? 65 Deluxe. Oh yes, lovely. Everything is in E. Here's a Dane on it. Uh, this 
is now the 57 champ. So this was the, if you imagine that little five watt amp or maybe even less than that, that you could, you'd, all you had was like a volume and a tone control on it and you crank the shit out of it. Excuse me. You crank the bejahibis out of it. Uh, and then uh, it sounds like this. And the, remember we did the video where we would, I, yes. I don't get it, then get it. And then oh, I yes, get it. I get it. Yes. yes. Or at least I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. See, it's, that's, it's, that's, it's, we built it up, you, didn't we? We and built it up, the corn, and then it's, it's on like, the corn, oh, and, and you just like, don't. I mean, some things are just better left alone. The problem, I think, with the champ is if it's not loud, it, that, it's, uh, it's absolutely. a bit. It's a bit wasp in a jam yeah. jar, isn't it? Yeah, it is because it. <laughs> It's there. What, how much on. is a champ? How much oh, is a thousands. champ? Oh, thousands. Yeah, well, like a thousand, so like fifteen thousand. on the quid yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah. And I, and it's a one thing, but it does that one thing yeah. extremely yeah, I, well. I remember. I'm sure I, I remember seeing Clapton at the Albert Hall, and it's just a. It was a Fender champ. Oh, he's got the everything on ten, one, and it was like gaffer taped to a chair or something. Like he was in a <laughs> pub, but it was in the Albert Hall. <laughs> Uh, all cranked up. Anyway, this is a, uh, what were we on? This is now a 57 Deluxe. So again, it's like a early era Fender amplifier, bit, bit more known for being cranked, but a little bit louder. Than Is Joe Bonamassa, is he 57 Deluxes? Is that what he uses? Or does he use something else? Yeah, I cranked, think so. Something like that. He uses tweed amps yeah. cranked, doesn't he? To, to be fair to the amp, we are not. We are using a Fender Strat here. We're not using some uh, humbuggers. But True. hey, I'm sure somebody will do that video. 57 Twin. So again, we're back in some one of the bigger, cleaner sounding. And here, the reverb is fine. Yeah. And this is where you can go, ah, oh, maybe a little bit more, but I... What did I call the... Um, I, I, I totally it's remember nice. in that Tone nice. Master reverb referring to a reverb as convalescence reverb, <laughs> Con uh, without <laughs> realizing that the word convalescence means to get better. I think I meant convolution. Convolution. I might not even mean, not, might not even mean that. Conversation. Conversation uh, reverb. Conviction. Converse. Condescending. Uh, Next. Anyway, condescending. Yeah. Uh, Baseman. Why is there not more basements? Basements another. <laughs> Sorry. The basement is another <laughs> amplifier that kind of half the joy of a basement is when it's so loud your ears are bleeding. And obviously we're not loud in here. But you get the idea. It's a cool flavour. Yeah. Uh, Bandmaster. I don't think they make that anymore, oh, do they? No, but I, I, I've used the Bandmaster in a few uh, sessions. Okay, Ooh. do it. Um... <laughs> I don't remember it sounding like that. With, it, with, a, with a pedal, maybe? Or, you know. yeah, we tried it with a thing. There's some sustain there. I Watch really it like go. it. It sounds uh, great. Uh, uh, you know what? It just goes on. A super reverb. How could we not? That is, that yeah. is. That was with the Mjolnir on top. That sounds great. Oh, Vibra King. Oh, Vibra King. Do you remember the Vibra How King many video amps we did? Fender made. 
Like how many great lot. amps are Fender made? Yes. How many amazing amps? Mm. There's nothing on, no. no. Pedal. Do you remember when we did the 310 oh, Fender totally and, and with the, and moly. With the uh, 335 on it? It was yeah. just like... Awesome. In all fairness, I think that's actually a pretty good record. I think Other it is. than the fact that we're massively lower volume and oh, therefore that was so loud. you don't get that. Yeah. That. I think that's all right. Yeah, well, look, I think we need to. I mean, it, <laughs> I, I don't quite know. Uh, oh, I'm of pretty people. sure, if I remember rightly, that the app is free. Obviously, it doesn't do anything if you haven't got the amplifier. I am reliably told if you've got an old Mustang GT, face, you man. can make the new app work with that. So at least you get all that. You know, it doesn't make your amp into a. GTX amplifier, but it at least gives you this more graphical representation oh, that's cool. oh, that's rather really than cool. the old one. Yeah, no, um, you could. You, when but you're I'm pretty in sure you can just download this app and and whiz through and see what it looks like and stuff. Have a play. You can't hear anything, but you. But you have to log in. You have um, to have a Fender uh, Fender uh, login. Do you? To, yeah. So well, that's fine. Let's just simply. I think we need to draw this video to an end. Oh, yeah? So I'm just going to do the last few. Bits yeah. and bobs. Uh, so, okay, this is this is cool. We should have done that in the beginning because in the beginning we used the looper that's built in in, in here. In the beginning. In the beginning, which we used with the board. This is clear. Yes. So you buy the hundred, this comes with it. You buy the fifty, you buy this as an optional extra. Um, the pedal itself um, it allows you to go bank up and down, change different presets. It allows you to use it in an effects mode. So uh, each of your presets you can turn up to five different effects on and off or you can put it into looper mode, uh, and then you've got your usual record, dub, play, stop, undo, which is great, so you're not double tapping anything, it's just brilliant, uh, and you've got a tuner built into it. So, you and get that free. Can I please just add to can this? Can I please just add to this? Can I please add to this, that when you do your loop, and you then, ha let's say you're on the first clean sound mm. with your loop, you do your loop, brum, brum, Oh yeah. Then you go and click, so you're on your loop here, you've done your loop, then you click this up to your preset there, then you switch to another amp. Yeah. But the loop sound is still the same as you did in the beginning, in the beginning, or you go to there and you can go to your effects and you yeah. can turn off overdrive, delay, whatever. So I'm just, it doesn't change. I'm putting this out there. I'm telling you now, Fender, this is what I want every single guitar amp brands to do ever. This is, yeah. th apart from the fact I think this should be Bluetooth. Yes, I was and just then, gonna say. And then that's the only thing, you don't have to have the cable. The only thing I would say, I suppose, if it was Bluetooth, it would then need to be powered separately. And the cool thing about it having a cable is the power and everything comes down the cable. Yeah. However, well not however, but in addition that to so, that. That's such a, well done, um, that's so cool. The old MGT4 sw foot switch, which was Talk the foot business. switch for the previous um, Mustang, GT range uh -huh. still works. It only has four buttons on it, so it doesn't have quite the uh, access to the switching that this has, but it still works and it still has the same idea of the preset mode, the effects loop, and the looper mode. So that's what I was using in that first little Can clip. I see? Can you bank up and down with the. Uh, you have to press you, two buttons two, simultaneously yeah, hey, to man, bank up and down. Hey, if you've got one of these lying around and you know, and you want the 50, you yeah. just. Or use in that. fact, these are, if you buy the 50 and you just want a cheaper foot switch than, than the um, GTX7. Uh, you can buy the old MGT4, which is cool. I like this. Um, I really like this. I think this, this is a good. Uh, I am putting this contender. out there. This is much better than the previous GT. It's definitely an upgrade. Oh yeah, absolutely. It and it looks. Look we're so psychic. Even <laughs> though it's a split screen video Jinx. and we're not even in the room together, Jinx. we still said the Your same thing coke. at the same time. Um, I'm going to have one. It's not really a criticism. It's just a. It's a. I'm a bit confused. Okay, so the the hundred is about a hundred pounds more than the fifty, which in itself is fair enough. But you get the foot switch included in this, which costs about eighty pounds if you have to buy it separately. So this, the fifty, and then you go and buy the foot switch, is like ends up being much the same price as the hundred. So really, 
who's buying the 50? I don't really know. I mean, I guess the person buying the 50 is the person that's going, I never want the first Pedal switch. Board. Yeah, I've got my own pedals. With a loop on it. You know, I, I'm happy to just use the app to change stuff. And I just want to, you know, I just can't afford any more than what the 50 is going to cost me. So yeah. I guess that's the kind of customer. But if it were me, I'm all in on the hundreds Absolutely. every time. 100%. And not, and not just because I'm trying to get you to buy the deer or amplifier, absolutely because you get the foot switch with it and I think it's yeah. better value. Um, although again, I suppose if you've got the old Mustang and you just want to do an upgrade and you want to recycle your old foot switch, then the 50 is cool. As I said, the, the two amps are completely identical in what they're able to do other than the cabinet size and the power. I think they're great. So let's well, jam it. Look, super light. Uh, we didn't mention really, really like on them. the back is also an effects loop. Let we, well, let's do a, a picture of the back again now. Hey. Hey. What do you think? Who's Pete? back? It's a nice looking back, right? <laughs> yeah. We're not even looking at it, so we don't know what's looking. Um, <laughs> let's, let's jam out. Um, let's, uh, I mean, we, these kind of videos could go on for days because yeah. we could go in and show you how it edits and all that kind of stuff. You just have to take my word for it. It's really, really easy. To oh, so edit. easy. And you, you just save on there. Bomb, you call don't it something. need the app. You can do everything from the panel if you want to, but it definitely is quicker and easier to do it from the app. Yeah. Um, it's got pictures. I like well pictures. Well done, Fender. Uh, yeah. If you live in Europe, you can, of course, purchase one of these fine and dandy amplifiers from Anderton's. They should be in stock from the day this video goes live. Mm. Next day delivery if you're in the UK, a couple of days delivery if you're in Europe. If you live in America or somewhere else, then head on over to Fender.com where you can buy one from there if you want to. Or see your um, shop near you. Or yes, or go to your local favorite dealer and buy it from them. Uh, but uh, yes. I'm going to say it now, although we will absolutely do a shootout at some point, but I'm going to say it now in that I think for a Fender amp sound, this is superior to I, any of the other modeling competitors that are out there. I think so. I, 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 if, if you want the Fender clean thing with the nice reverbs that the Fender amps give you and always have done, yeah. that's this is your man. Yeah. Or, your, or, your or your woman. woman. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, Do you want to jam out? Do you want to swap guitar? I think, guitar? We, should, so it, I think we should too, jam uh, out. And, uh, and also just, again, we'll show you now in this particular jam, Pete building the loop and how he changes sound. Uh, really? Um, okay. Yeah. Let's do that with my uh, Fender boots on here. Did I mention the price? I think I did, didn't I? It's, it's just over 300 for the, the 50 and just over 400 for the, the 100. So links in the description below. Head on over to the Anderson's website. Post your comments below. Just remember, hashtag be nice. Here comes the loop, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. 